Okay, so let's test out this mini paper plant to see how far it can fly, okay? Let me hold the paper plant right here and throw it straight up to the sky. There we go. Wow! Can you see that? Let me go in to pick it up. I chose the wrong color, guys. I have a uh, green one and it's not a good choice of colors, but this fly very well. Let me try again, okay? What's up right here? This one can fly indoor and outdoor. Uh, is this windy or not windy? So thread up high now. Let's take a look at this. Amazing, right? Wow! Wow! This is a very nice one. Let's be go to pick it up again. Okay, let's me go back here. And I will throw up. It's so cool. Just a small plant that flies so well. Up here to the sky. Let's go. Wow, it's like a boomerang too. That's one actually. If you twist it, it's maybe a boomerang. So let me throw it. Wow! Wow! Alright. Hello everybody. Welcome to Tree Dang channel. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make a new origami. To make the origami, you need a piece of origami paper. You can use A4 paper or you can use um, your slitter size paper. But you need to trim the paper down as a square. Now, let me show you guys how to fold the origami. First of all, let's flip the paper over. Now, this is in white, so it's hard to see. But I'm going to fold the paper in half. Very cool. So, fold the paper in half. Make sure that all edges are lined up perfectly. Let me hold the paper up to see if all the edges are lined up. Perfect. I flip the paper over. So places is we used to have. Now let's unfold the paper. Now we will start from this upper edge or a closer edge. I fold it to the center crease. And I'm going to repeat the same fold for the other side. Right. So once I finish this side, I repeat the same fold for the other side. Awesome. So this is what I have so far like a rectangle on the following step I will start from this upper edge this upper edge here I put it to the center crease and I repeat the same fold for the opposite side alright so next step I will start from this edge I put it to the center crease And I repeat the same fold for the other side. I will need to make sure that both sides are even, otherwise this will not work. Alright, so now I have the crease here. I will unfold the part of the paper and same thing for the other side. Now we have the crease, I will use this as a preference. But before I show you the next step, let's unfold this part of the paper as well. Same thing here. On the following step, let's start from this edge forward to the crease that I just make. And repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Very easy, right? So after I finish this size, I will fold it back again. So I'll start from this side of the paper, I'll fold the edge down, same thing for the other side, and first towards the center crease again, same thing for the other side. Now we have a very nice shape of the paper, right? If I flip it over, take a look at this. That's already look nice. By the way, let's start from this tip, I will fold straight down here. Let's me turn the paper like this, and I'll start it over. Start from the tip, first straight to the other edge. And I will start my right here. Next step, I will start from this part of the paper and fold straight up. 
like this. Very simple, right? Alright, so let's flip the paper over. So this is what you have so far. This is what you have. To make this part stay together, let's flip the paper over and pull this one back. Now you have a crease here. Let's start from this up edge for to the crease. And repeat the same fold for the other side. And fold this other paper up. Let's see how it looks like now, okay? If it's not work, you need to adjust this size of the paper a little bit more. I will fold toward the center create a little bit more. Same thing for this side. And now I can fold the tip up. Here we go. And now I can flip the paper over. Now the pen looks already nice. But you still need to adjust it. Here we go. So this is what we have. Now, following step, start from this edge, forward to the other side. Awesome. Now, start from the upper edge, forward to the edge that I just make. And repeat the same fold for the other side. This is not a completely new design. It's just a fun. Uh, ex it's just a fun uh, experiment to see how this plan will work. Take a look at this. This is very uh, easy. The All four right. So we just finished the paper air plan. But to make sure that the plan will fly, we need to do a few more steps, and it's not difficult. All right, so first of all, we need to create the stabilizers to have the plane fly. At the end of the wings here, I will fall straight to this edge to create the first stabilizer. And I repeat the same fold for the opposite side. All right, and you can see this like, like a small angle here. I will fold this angle up to create the um, elevator. Same thing for this side. All right, so I have this side. I unfold, 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 make sure that everything is straight up and perpendicular to the wings. And here you go. This is the new paper air plan. I hope you guys will enjoy making this paper air plan. Don't forget to like the video, share the tutorial with your friends, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.